Okay, hi everyone, how are you going? We just thought we'd do another short uh, video on um, what's been happening. Um, got Goose Band Productions, is gonna set up a small video again. We're gonna walk through and have a bit of a look at uh, what's been going on. Okay, this is a new flight that we put together. If we can just get that there, uh, very quick, a ready at fire tail in there flying around. Um, but anyway, I'll just come in here to a new flight that we uh, put up. I just want to show you a little bit of a success story that we've had so far this year. Um, probably not the best pictures, but anyway, heap of little blue cat features in here that we've um, that we've been breeding. So uh, over the last 12 months, we've bred about uh, probably close to 30, 35 of them out of three pairs. So really, really happy with them. Okay, so here we are, we're in one of the new flights that we constructed. Um, at the minute we've got red eared by tails that are in here. They are a little bit flighty, the red ears, so we try to give them as much privacy as we can. Another little one of our breeding blue caps, one of the breeding pairs that are in here, they're producing quite a few. So we've um, only finished this cage in the last few weeks, so it could have been an ongoing process, but anyway, we've got there in the end. Keep coming through here. Massive year we've had with uh, mutation gullions. Um, probably going to cut back on them at the end of the year, but uh, we've bred a lot of um, blue gullions. If we come outside this walkway, a lot of people ask me how much cover we keep the birds under, but as you can see, these are old parrot cages that we converted into finch aviaries and um, not a lot of cover they can come out in the front get all the winter elements summer elements they can get back underneath um, but yeah we don't cover them up like a lot of people do um, I think in the last two years we've probably ever probably only dropped about two um, and they were young birds so yeah not saying that you're gonna have a hundred percent where you won't um, lose birds but we've only dropped a couple in the last two years so okay we'll uh, Keep an eye on this space over the next coming, well, I'd like to think weeks, but it might be months. Um, gonna be a new aviary that we're gonna put up. Um, and we'll, we'll actually connect it into one of the other flights. And with a bit of luck, we'll uh, run some more ready ed fire tails in there and uh, some more blue caps, um, uh, wide eared masks and things like that. Okay, uh, this is one of our big flights that we have out the back. We just converted it in the last few days. Um, thought it might be a good idea to let a little bit more light in here. Um, we've covered it with some clear sheeting up on top. Um, but yeah, it took off a few a bit of the, um, the fridge panel that a lot of our aviaries are covered in, uh, just to try and get a little bit more light through, definitely in the winter time. Okay, you might be able to get in there. Okay, as you can see, there's another little red here. I do think its mate could be on eggs, touch wood, so we're really hoping. There's a heap of blue caps in here. Um, the young ones in here, there's a couple of adult pairs. Uh, white eared mask, as you can see, a bit further down. Same same thing, we, we took off some of the panelling, uh, put some wire on top and then covered it with some clear sheeting. And also trying to get the shrubs to uh, grow um, and, and plant it out a little bit is the hardest thing. But anyway, um, we all learn as we go. So, yeah. Okay, we've just come into another flight here. There's a couple um, young painteds there that have come out. They're actually fawns. We, uh, we bought a, uh, a fawn male and a split female, yellow um, fawns. Uh, they've just had them out in the last week and a half. So there's a young, there's dad's just flown in up the top. Uh, we've got a split out and a coloured fawn, so happy with that, but we hadn't had them very long, so gotta be happy with that. We just scan around up here, up the top there a bit. We won't stay in here for very long. Up in that old dead bush there, there is, um, I'm hoping, a red eared fire tail. Well, I know she's in there. Um, they did have four clear eggs recently, so we're hoping that um, they might be on some good eggs. And there's there's the father. 
and one of the little young ones there. Really happy with the forms. Um, we actually got them off um, Gary McRae up in Kalgoorlie. And I do think Gary has some of the, the nicest birds going around. And we do buy uh, a few birds off of Gary. Okay, here we are in one of the Goulian flights. There's actually only two pairs of Goulians in here. We bred them last year, the Goulians. Um, blackhead, purple breast, uh, males, over two Euro um, females. Uh, and they've produced about 28 so far. So we've actually started taking the nest boxes out. And as you can see, that we've only got the one nest box and I think there could be a couple babies in there. Um, but yeah, we've bred um, heaps and heaps and heaps of bullions, so I, I think we've, uh, we've certainly uh, gonna have a fair few of them to get rid of at the end of the year. Okay, and there we are with some of the young blue caps. Um, I caught six out on the weekend from one of the big flights. Um, so yeah, we've, uh, we have had a pretty good year with them as well. And obviously the secret is, seem to like plenty of white ants, uh, mealworms, and then we give them a lot of the uh, sprouted seed, grass seeds and whatever's available. But yeah, pretty happy with the way they're going. Okay, so there we go. Um, got to thank uh, Goose Productions together. He's going to put it all together for me. Um, yeah, it was just a bit of an oversee, a bit of an overlook of what's been happening with us over here in WA. So yeah, hope you enjoy watching it. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll try and take some more um, videos of our uh, upcoming building of new flights. All right, thanks a lot, everyone.